Hey guys, this is kind of a different video than uh, what we might be used to on the channel, but I got a nice uh, interesting package from Ami Ami in the mail uh, today. And along with it, I also got my brand new phone, my, my Samsung Galaxy S22. And how convenient, uh, I have a, a, a fancy schmancy brand new camera to record uh, me opening this box. Um, if you clicked on the video, I am sure that you know what it is that I am taking out of the box. Oh boy. Oh God, I don't know. Who is this? Who are these? I don't, I don't know you. But after over a year of waiting, she is finally, she has finally arrived. Get out of there. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay. All right, so this is Melia. I don't know why I needed to say that. You all know but she perfectly intact. Oh my goodness. Look at her. There she is. Okay, so uh, there is some assembly required, I imagine. All right, so now I need to try and open this as carefully as possible. I really don't want to like ruin this box. Uh, there we go. Oh, these are the these are the worst types of boxes too. I always bend the little lip. I need to use both hands to get that out if I don't want to bend it. Oh yeah, what a surprise! I bent the I bent the lip as always. It's like the worst thing on a box. I, I hate it so much. So we got this little uh, little guide here on how to assemble her. It doesn't seem terribly complicated. There's only, what, one, two, three, four parts. It's pretty easy. But uh, definitely gotta be super careful with her. All right, so this is her base. And I imagine that her, yeah, her shoe is supposed to go in there. Oh, good lord, that was definitely harder than it needed to be. I, <laughs> that was really annoying to get on. You have to like shove her shoe on this pole here. Next is her staff. Uh, that I guess we'll, we'll put in her hand. Ooh. It seems like you actually have to put this rod part of the staff through her hand uh, first. Come on. Okay. That's about where it needs to be. And then we just pop this guy on the end like so. Oh, he popped off like so. Okay, and there she is. There is Melia. Uh, so I'm just gonna move all this off. Uh, all the crap off the table to give everyone a good look at her. So uh, this is the base of the, of the figure. The grass is kind of it's made out of plastic, uh, which was very interesting to me because um, when I first saw this figure, I was really surprised that there was grass on it. I 
the uh, the previous other figures sort of had a standard base, but there was a there was a you know more detail here, so I really appreciated that. The level of detail is just stunning on this thing. I can't believe this even exists. You know, I've been a, a fan of, of Xenoblade since uh, the Wii, and I have loved Melia quite a bit ever since uh, ever since the game came out. And I just can't believe she has a figure. I can't believe she is, uh, she's sitting here right in front of me. Melia Antiqua. It really feels like she was ripped out of the game. Absolutely beautiful. She's wonderful, but why is she genociding all the people in Xenoblade 3? Overall, I would say Good Smile did, you know, the best possible job they could have. I am ecstatic to have her as a part of my Xeno merch collection. If you want one for yourself, it's probably going to be a little bit hard to get her, however, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if there were some reprints in the future. I know this was a little bit different than the, the content that I typically make, but, you know, I, I got Melia in the mail, I knew you guys would, would love her, and I just had to show her off to you. Um, I also ordered the Siren model kit, there was a reprint of that recently, so... That's coming in the mail at some point. If you're interested in seeing me unbox that and seeing my thoughts, um, definitely subscribe. That'll be coming within the near future, whenever uh, whenever FedEx decides to deliver it, you know. <laughs> if you liked the video, be sure to let me know and tell me down in the comments, did you get Melia? Do, do you like her? I sure as hell love her. Special thanks to my channel members and super special thanks to to play Polygloom, a float sign and Parker Chase who are legendary blade members. Your support has been absolutely incredible. All right guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.